Hi again and welcome. As I indicated in a previous video, I'm not sure which one of these is going to get uploaded first. I am on vacation for the next couple of weeks, so I've had an opportunity to do some uh, additional videos, which is great because I had gone for a week or two without doing one. So today I actually had an opportunity to do two videos. I did a tutorial on this uh, makeup look for the face and I uh, will be uploading that later. And then I also did a quick tutorial or a quick video showing you how I do this updo. This is a new way of doing a messy updo, which I absolutely adore the messy updo that I found on YouTube and I've adapted it. And today I did it using uh, a, my curling wand with the balls on it, the uh, wave, whatever it is, that's the weirdest looking curling iron, but it is the greatest curling iron in all the land. And put some curl in it before, so that was a first for me. And I think it actually made a huge difference. And so if you'd like to see, uh, tutorial on how I did this hair look. Stick around and you'll see. Thanks. Hi. So, um, looks like maybe two videos in one day because I just finished recording the video tutorial for this makeup look and now I'm going to do uh, a hair look and see how it turns out. I've been using this technique to create a messy updo that I found on YouTube where you twist sections of hair and then pin them with uh, bobby pins. And I haven't tried curling my hair before I've done that, so I was going to give that a go. And I was going to use the uh, wavy, the goody, heat styling, waving, whatever, uh, I referred to as the greatest curling iron in all the land when I first got it. Um, it is one of those that requires one of those heat gloves and of course I don't have one of those heat gloves. So uh, chances are good that I'm going to burn myself about a thousand times, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how I curl my hair using this curling iron. Just wrap the hair around. I don't think I'm going to make sure that everything is totally perfect because this is going to be an updo so all I'm trying to do is give it some uh, curl and body to help with the uh, style because I think the style would look prettier curled so ay, 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 ay. how much you want to bet I'm going to oops Ugh. how much you want to bet I'm going to kill myself uh, burning myself about 50 times while I do this because I am not a coordinated individual uh, based on my uh, ancestry <laughs> we are a clumsy clumsy people on my father's side as my brother can attest okay I think I want to redo this curl really quick and I'm not going to obviously videotape myself doing this entire head of hair in curls because that would take forever and be totally boring. But I just wanted to give you an idea of uh, how this works. Okay, let's see. I can do kind of uh, pretty large sections with this curling iron because again the whole point of the iron with the weird shape is to get curls that are of differing uh, I don't know widths so that the curl isn't the same all the way down the uh, hair shaft and then that makes it kind of look tousled and fun and pretty See, it doesn't take very long to get these curls in at all. And I know I'm going to jinx myself by saying this, but miraculously, I have not burned myself yet. And as soon as I say that, I'm going to burn myself. So this is going to be the last curl I show. And then I'm going to uh, pause this, finish curling it, and then I'll come back to show you part of the technique that I use for putting my hair up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, 
I'm back and as you can see my whole head of hair is curled with the uh, iron and it makes some really cute wavy curls and now I'm going to kind of run my fingers through it a little bit just to kind of break up some of those um, so that I can start dividing into sections and what I do is I kind of divide it to the back first and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a section of hair um, and I'm going to be twisting it and the fact that it's curled already kind of helps with that and then I'm going to be pulling little sections to kind of make it look um, loose as you can see and then I take it to the back and with a bobby pin I pin it oops these first couple are a little bit difficult just because there's no base to really pin it to okay so then I pin it in the back I don't know if you can see that but um, then I take a section from the front and I basically do the same thing. I twist it like this, hold the end, and then kind of just pull little sections to make it kind of loose and a little messy. And then I put it around the back. And okay, I don't want to totally annihilate that one. What I'm trying to do is get it underneath that first one. And when you're done pinning up all the sections, you can go back and clean up any areas that are kind of uh, falling out or needing some cleanup. Anyway, so this is what I do. I'll do another one from this side. Again, twist. And I have done this look several times because I really like it. Um, I only wash my hair, or I try to only wash my hair maybe three times a week. So every three to four days. And so having some options for something to do with my hair, especially on those, you know, the last day before you shampoo when it's kind of driving you nuts. Uh, this turned out to be a really nice, uh, alternative to just putting it up in a ponytail. Again, I'm going to twist and I got some little uh, rhinestone uh, bobby pins. The last time I was over at uh, Ulta and I wore them, I wore this look to work the last day that I worked before my vacation, so last uh, Friday. I wore it to work and I put those uh, rhinestone bobby pins in and told everybody it was my messy bridal updo. Okay, and my battery is flashing about to die. So um, I'm going to end here. I'm going to finish doing this and putting it all up and I'll come back and show you the finished look in a little bit. Thanks. Okay, real quick before my battery dies, I just wanted to give you a look at the finished look. This is the updo. This is the back. I hope you can see that. And the side and the front. I've pulled down some little tendrils and I added a little sparkly uh, blingy bobby pin, a couple of bobby pins in there. And uh, this is the tousled updo and if you like it as always um, hit the like button at the bottom subscribe if you're not a subscriber and leave a comment let me know if you liked it didn't like it love me hate me want me to do something different and again as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video hi everybody um i'm going to uh, uh.